Hello hello, welcome back for another speed racing video. If you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today's video, it's all about the most common animals that you can fin in the zoo, and they are the following, reticulated giraffe, western lowland gorilla, Indian elephant, red kangaroo, west african lion and the plains zebra. Let the best win. The word zoo is a shortened form of zoological garden or zoological park. A zoological garden or park is a facility where a wide variety of animals, typically from various species, are kept and displayed to the public. The term zoological is derived from the Greek word zoon, which means animal, and logia, which means study of or collection. So, a zoo is essentially a place where animals are exhibited and studied, making it a combination of a public attraction and a center for the study of animals. Humans keep animals in zoos for a variety of reasons, and the motivations can differ depending on the institution and the context. Some of the common reasons include Conservation and research, many zoos play a vital role in conservation efforts, particularly for endangered and threatened species. They provide a safe and controlled environment for breeding programs, scientific research, and the preservation of genetic diversity. Zoos often collaborate with wildlife organizations to reintroduce animals into their natural habitats. Education and awareness, zoos serve as educational tools for the public, especially for children. They provide opportunities for people to learn about different species, their behaviors, habitats, and conservation needs. This first-hand experience can help raise awareness about the importance of protecting wildlife and their ecosystems. Scientific research, zoos can be important centers for scientific research. Studying animals in captivity can provide insights into their biology, behavior, and physiology that are difficult to obtain in the wild. This research can contribute to our understanding of both captive and wild animals. Protection from poaching and habitat destruction, keeping some species in captivity can protect them from poaching and the destruction of their natural habitats. It's a last resort to ensure the survival of species that might otherwise go extinct. Public recreation and tourism, zoos provide recreational and entertainment opportunities for the public. Many people enjoy visiting zoos to observe and learn about animals they may not have the chance to see in the wild. Ethical and welfare concerns, in some cases, animals are kept in zoos to rescue them from harmful or unsustainable conditions in the wild, such as habitat destruction, illegal wildlife trade, or injuries. Zoos can offer a safe and stable environment for these animals. Endangered Species Recovery Some zoos participate in species survival plans SSPs, and cooperative breeding programs that aim to recover endangered species. These programs involve carefully managing the genetics of captive populations to ensure their long-term viability. It's important to note that not all zoos are the same, and there can be significant differences in the quality of care, conservation efforts, and ethical practices among them. Many modern zoos prioritize the well-being of the animals they keep, and they aim to balance conservation, education, and recreation while contributing to the protection of endangered species and their natural habitats. However, there are also concerns about animal welfare in some older or poorly managed zoos, which has led to increased scrutiny and calls for reform in the treatment of captive animals.
And the fastest zoo animal is the reticulated giraffe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.